Hey, what's going on everybody? We're here on macOS High Sierra once again on the 2011 MacBook Pro, the base model with the standard 500 gig hard drive, Core i5, and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now today, I just kind of wanted to make a little bit of an update video. I made this same kind of video back late in 2020. And now High Sierra is officially unsupported by Apple. So what does that mean? Well, basically that means that this software will no longer receive any updates. Apple typically stops feature updates once the next version of OS came out. So the one that came out after High Sierra, High Sierra was still receiving updates and it was still supported, but it wasn't getting any new features because they were focusing on obviously the next generation or the next release on Mac OS. But High Sierra received security updates and that's what Apple does for all of their OSs. They continue to release security updates until they decide to just stop. And the time that they decided to stop with High Sierra is when Big Sur came out last year in the fall. So if we take a look here at the Apple security update page, you notice down here that Big Sur was released on the 17th of November and the final update for High Sierra was released not too many days before Big Sur. So it was a final security update just kind of patching those final uh, things there so they didn't fix too terribly many things but basically here's the main problem with using high sierra now in 2021 obviously if any security related issues arise so if somebody finds a problem with high sierra then they can actively exploit it well, that means that people who use High Sierra are going to be vulnerable to it. And Apple will not update this anymore to fix it. So that is, of course, the biggest risk with using it today. But does that necessarily mean that you shouldn't be using it in 2021? I still think it's okay to use it. I wouldn't use it too much longer. But you're probably going to want to just be extremely careful, uh, you know, you're clicking on things in emails, or you're going to web pages or websites, you want to make sure that you have good protection in place because you never know what is laying out there. There are exploits in every OS, even the current ones, the old ones. It doesn't matter how old they are. There are exploits in there that people just haven't found yet. And if somebody finds one and you're still using an old OS, well, you're kind of on your own you just better hope your defenses are good to go. As far as using it today though, that is my biggest concern, uh, is the lack of security updates. But I think if you get a good browser, I mean Safari is pretty good with the, uh, I believe it's called Google Safe Browsing, yeah, Google Safe Browsing, uh, things like that. It's usually pretty good, but there's some other browsers you can get to make it more safer. You might want to consider installing some antivirus software, or maybe, you know, just be careful. <laughs> I mean, that's really all I can tell you. As far as using it just other ways, again, the design of it is extremely familiar to what we have today. Obviously, Big Sur looks different now, but if you're still on Catalina, for example, this is extremely similar. I mean, all the icons are the same, uh, all that stuff. Basically, if you sign into your iCloud account, you're going to be able to access all the main new uh, things that are in iCloud. So you shouldn't have any problem uh, with your Apple ID or anything. But all these apps, they're basically the same. I'm telling you, there's really not much difference. Also, High Sierra was updated to uh, the Apple file system, modern video encoding, and different things like that. So Again, it's up to date in those regards too. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to give you just a heads up about High Sierra. It is officially unsupported by Apple. So you want to be extremely careful when you're browsing the web and things. But if you still want to use it, you know, all the apps are going to work like the modern ones on Big Sur or Catalina. So you should have no problems. 
I haven't found anything that you know you download something and it's not gonna work for example like VirtualBox I can get the latest version of that no problem and you can get the latest version of pretty much any other app no issues as well but yeah guys just a quick PSA please be careful if you're still using high Sierra watch out for possible exploits and if you see one of those come up you definitely want to quit using this ASAP but anyways guys that's all I got for you today thanks for watching I will catch you all in the next video.